Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle HCM Cloud. Let's have a look at how to add a logo and background image. So let's have a look at how we can do it. Let's go to settings, click on edit pages, click on activate a sandbox, and because we're gonna just do a logo and background, we're going to enable only appearance and uh, create a sandbox. So just name the sandbox. So let's say logo. And do the same for the description. And click on create. So let's go to navigation. Make sure you got this is uh, your sand, uh, sandbox mode. Okay. So in navigation, we're gonna go to appearance. So click on uh, more and uh, select appearance. There is a lot of things you can do here, but for the purpose of video, we're gonna only go through the logo and the background image. The rest of things we will cover in in a different video okay so this is what we're going to check logo and background image you got few options for each for logo you can either select it from the predefined uh, images just like this one so you can uh, change that to a different image so you usually have uh, three or four there also, another option is you can upload it from a file so let's upload it from a file so you'll be able to see how we do it so click on it I have created a logo there so select that one open so the logo has been uploaded and now while you do that you've got a few options you can add favicon for the desktop side if you wish to do it select uh, that one and you can upload the favicon for your desktop okay and uh, if you want it for a shortcut icon for the mobile select that one and then you will be able to do it um, for the time being uh, I'm gonna take it out so we'll just stick with the logo and uh, now we got an option to do the background image uh, just like before we got three options predefined one so you can uh, select from the predefined uh, background images or you can uh, choose to have no background at all or you can uh, upload a file or you can even give a URL so over here we will paste a URL there if the image you're gonna paste there if it's a small one you can repeat the image and then um, put it in whichever location you want whether at a corner or in the center uh, this is a pretty big image so I don't need to repeat it again uh, background color if you're not using an image you can either leave it transparent or you can uh, choose a different color so you can uh, you can completely customize it and that's why all the background color shades and everything you, you get here okay. so let's click on apply one thing you need to make sure when you select uh, the logo picture is the width the height of the the logo really matters because I've choose this one Spotify logo uh, if the height of the logo which you're choosing is it's really big it will come with whatever height uh, you got for that image so my uh, my original height for the picture is just just this one so that's why it, it is looking good now uh, imagine you create a you, you choose a logo and uh, if the logo with uh, height is uh, pretty big then it will push it down all the way through and it don't look nice and uh, second tip 
uh, try to choose a transparent uh, PNG image so that it, it blends well with whatever background you got. So that's that. So we have applied that one and uh, let's have a look how it's going to look like. So click on preview. Okay. So there we go. So this is the background image I choose and that's the logo so logo size is really important so if you the height is really really big this won't start here it will start in the middle of the page okay so once you're happy with it uh, you go to publish okay so always check it before you publish so that you know you know everything is good There we are. So we got our new logo there and uh, we got our background image. So this is how we add a logo and a background image. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.